Welcome back to Scheme Team. It is Scheme Team Saturday, and today I am joined with Chris. Hey, you boy. And Josh. I've got really long hair on my big toe. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I want to show you this, but... You've got pure I mean, hobbit hooves. You, know, you can think about that when you're having a pint tonight. You can think about my... That go that go your lizard toes as well. Yeah, I could actually... I could probably perm that. <laughs> Caitlin just looked directly into the camera like her soul had disappeared from her body. <laughs> I could perm my, my big toe. I could perm my big toe! <laughs> <laughs> Today, we are bringing you some real versus fake... Facts edition. It's not that hard to comprehend. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a fact to the boys, and they're oh going to tell me if they God. think it's real or if they think it's fake. Simple. I'm really now, shit at this. The question is: Do you boys want to have some teamwork, or do you want to face off against each other? Mm, no, let's face off. Let's do it. Face off. Face off. Okay. Shit at this. I'm shit at this. We've done this in college once, but it was like stories and I was mincing it. I'm okay. going to show off my big brain. First fact. The roller coaster was invented during the Hundred Years' War as a way of launching supplies across rivers. Real or fake? Real. I mean, that wouldn't be a roller coaster then, would it? I, mean, I've never, I don't know. I don't ride many roller coasters, but I've never jumped in the Pepsi Max at fucking Pleasure Beach and it's launched me into the fucking sea. <laughs> You tend, you never tend been to, on the fruit shoot at Blackpool. Yeah, but you tend to return to where you started. You don't tend to end up <laughs> across a body of water. <laughs> yeah, whoa! Believe what you're describing as a catapult. Did you never go to the fucking log ride at M&D's? No, see at Chester Zoo, they used to have a monorail, right? And it's they've, they're taking it down because it costs too much money to fix. So there's just bits of tracks everywhere. <laughs> and my, and I remember we were there the other day, my dad was like, oh, how, you won't get very far on that every time you've seen a bit. <laughs> you just got, just got to that point where you're like, fucking shut up, man. <laughs> one, one all right bit of that part of uh, Yeah, he just, just rips like, the arse at the laugh at it once and that's it the full day and you're like, fuck. And I would just turn around to my mom, that's the monorail, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and she'd be like, I, oh, that, that's the monorail. <laughs> I think it's fake because that would be, that would be a catapult, not a roller coaster. Very I'm going to go true because a lot of things were invented during the war. Right, so Chris, you're gone for that. It is real, and Josh, you're gone for that. It's fake. Yeah. Josh, give yourself a point. It was fake. You dumbass, don't know what a roller coaster is. That's a catapult. I thought it was made for the war. I know things do things. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to throw supplies, you don't want them coming back. <laughs> <laughs> You do as a wee tease. You're like, oh, 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 oh. Ah, yeah, yeah. You're not getting them. You're not getting them. We need ammo. No, oh, oh, oh. We'll get them. Won't you? Tune in next week. We'll find out. Right. <laughs> we'll only get ammunition. Fact Stop number two. Bridge. Vikings never fired flaming arrows at boats carrying the dead. They would sink them by running them over with a larger boat. Real or fake? A lot of effort to can build two boats when you can just set on fire. I have to say that's false. Safe. I mean, I mean, but then you're not guaranteed it'll burn. But then you're not guaranteed it'll break down either. It'll split in two. That's also true. I mean, you're going to have to waste another boat. There's two not boats very, going. <laughs> it's not a very Viking funeral, is it? Oh, yeah, I <laughs> How did you go? Oh, I just sunk. <laughs> do you know? <laughs> two, two boats, you know. I think it's false. I'm, 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 I'll match Chris on this one. Okay, that's a point each. It was yeah, fake. There is a basketball court on the top floor of the US Supreme Court building nicknamed the highest court in the land. Bruh. Real or fake? Bruh. America is that way inclined. They're fucking, they'll put things anywhere. Literally. False. Oh, it's true. You're not seeing them judges. They ball, bro. They ball, bro. I'm in your ball with my brats. Come, get inside. I'm in your ball with my brats. 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 
I don't I, understand I, I, the reference. That's Casey Frey and Nick Kalei. I, re I reckon Supreme Court, Supreme Court judges. Supreme ballad. Trish. Okay, so Josh is real and Chris is fake. And I think I'm real, but you know, <laughs> I am a real person. I think. I'm a concept. I'm an enigma. <laughs> in space. I am an idea, <laughs> like Prince. <laughs> the point goes to Josh. Shut the fuck up! No it's way. real. It's real. No way. It's <laughs> yep. bullshit. No. Bullshit. It's real. Some bullshit. A bit of bullshit. Buzz Aldrin left a pen in the moon after the first visit. Eugene Sermon, the last moonwalker, found it and it still worked. What do we think? I don't know. He left a flag there. Would he not just pick up the flag? <laughs> oh, a pen. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's candy. <laughs> He's candy. Thank fuck, I was using a bookie pen to do all my paperwork. <laughs> he just like fucks the bookie pen away. <laughs> I've got a space pen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd, it would still work, but I mean, why do you find the same pen? Well, surely you it would have, have floated off. Uh, yeah, as I'm saying, there's no gravity, but then... It's not there's no gravity, there's just a very it's small light, amount of gravity. Yeah. I suppose it would probably still be there. I don't think that's true. I'm looking at Caitlin's face to take, try and gauge. <laughs> I'm just laughing at everything you think, say, so I don't know how think helpful it is. It would be, it would be true if they'd find it, it would still work, but I don't think he found it, personally. I think, yeah, that's not really... You don't go to the moon and be buzzing over a pen. On the fucking moon, you're not going to notice a pen. And I've been wrong so far, so I don't know. I'm going false. Okay. Nah, I'm going false as well, fuck it. That's a point each, it was completely fake. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent baby. Well done guys. Any of uh, fans of Sesame Street? Um Yeah. I love Big Bird. Did you know that the Cookie Monster I like big birds and I can't laugh. has a real name? <laughs> cookie Monster has a real name? No, he yeah. doesn't. The Cookie Stop. Monster's name is Sid. I'm no. going to say true. I'm going to say true. I'm, I'm going yeah, to say, I'm, I'm I'm say true. I'm going to say it started as Sid and then be, became the Cookie Monster. I'm going to go, okay, yeah. I'm going to, I think he does have a name. Because the garbage oh, monster's got a name. Well, he does have a name. His name is Sid. Well done. Point each. Hey, Josh, just slip up majorly. I don't even know what point I'm on. Does the point matter? Ahead. No. <laughs> Josh, is... Josh, you're two or three ahead. Uh, how many questions have we had? Two. You're two ahead. Okay. Okay. I've, I've, I'm 100%. I'm, I'm, I'm all out, baby. I'm 100%. Yeah? I didn't come here to fucking play around. I'm here to win. Okay, keep track of your scores because I will forget. I ain't writing this down. Next okay, one. No, Hunting unicorns is legal in Michigan. True. Fucking yeah, true. That's an American thing. That is true. Well done. Here we go. That's the kind of daft laws they fucking come up with. Stupid shit like that. Stupid. I mean, why are we letting them? That's our national fucking animal. And we're letting them. More the unicorns! <laughs> Next Sorry. one. You're twice as likely to be killed by a vending machine than a shark. Real true. fake. True. True. That is yeah, true. Heavy, the heavy bastards they vending machines. Oh, I write big bastards, Amy. <laughs> what an F on you, he'd die. Hey, I'll be squished, eh? <laughs> he'll be squished, you'll wake up with a bit of a sore head in the morning. Oh, like, you'll hey. wake up with a bit of a sore head, eh? Hey, you watch your dapper <laughs> there, son, with that big dark Cadbury box come down your head like. <laughs> box. Oh, you best watch out for that Pringle boxy. It'll leave a right big hurry mark. <laughs> some frozen face on it, like hey, oh, you'll need some of your frozen veg. Ah, we wreck so the morning, eh? Oh, I'm a right, sir. This is the this is the rails. <laughs> this is us. We are often. Minecraft I'm carts, we just never go. Yeah. Soon a ditch. He's on fire. We're all having a good time. Right. We're all having a great 
You boys like music. Yep. How about this one? Bat Out of Hell was written by Meatloaf after an argument with Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, Because Ozzy ate a bat. It's referencing the bat. I don't know why. I mean, it's just too too spot on. It's just too, yeah, it's too, like, spot on. I don't know. I'm going to say false. Just the devil's advocate. It was fake. (laughs) That's where I just go. (laughs) No, Josh is only one ahead. But, yeah. A copy of Detective Comics issue 38 exists with an error that Batman constantly refers to his sidekick as Bobbin. Yeah. yeah true. true. I think, you know, they were very... Wait, no. Caitlin's face changed. Bobbin? Batman and Bobbin? I'm not going to say true, because this, this shit happens all the time. Yeah, I mean, when did when did the third? Like you get coke bottles with labels printed upside down and all this yeah, shit. So. You get bourbon biscuits that don't have a bourbon on it. <laughs> you get bourbon biscuits in a custard cream packet. Yeah, you get custard creams and the biscuits are upside down. Either are smashed. It's just dust. <laughs> oh, they're just upside down. So like they they they, they press the word custard backwards on the custard bit of the cream. Oh yeah. Very rare yeah. occurrence. I feel bad for eating it, but I still do it. <laughs> He's like, oh, that's a mix-up. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I should be in a museum. The museum of my belly. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, um, it was fake. I said it was fake. fake. You changed it was to... It? I did change it. We yeah. said we both said true. You said it was real. Was the fact yeah. that I can't <laughs> because things are always misprinted. <laughs> Yeah, of course, that was like the 30s. They were all drunk in the 30s. You know? <laughs> it was prohibition, fuck's sake. Everyone was Hell steaming. Yeah. They're all at the, they're all at the, um, you know, speakeasies the, the, the and all bookies. that. The bookies. <laughs> right, you are, you are both wee history buffs. You might like this one. Napoleon was ashamed of his nipples and refused to let anyone see them, even during medical treatment. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. That's, why, that's why you used to always go like this. And you've seen the photos, he's going like that. It's covering his nipple. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Yeah, I'm joking. You just get his hand in his jacket. That's so they don't paint his, paint his nipple. He's wee out the indent like that. <laughs> How insecure do you have to be about your nipples? But what, what, he really what, was, a, he was a very small man. Hey, but surely his nipples were proportionate to his smallness. Surely he's not standing as a small Mate, guy with massive burgers. huge fucking nipples, Mate, man. Burger nipples and like that. Nothing wrong with that. Pepper Army bad boys as well for the wee... Well, it was fake. <laughs> <laughs> you need a big explanation as well. I used I to put his hand in here. <laughs> well, I didn't know the answer, so I thought, oh, fuck it, I could throw off Josh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he, he wasn't ashamed of his nipples, apparently. <laughs> Who would be fucking out? If you put Ooh. Viagra in a vase, it will make flowers stand up straight for a week beyond what they normally ha! would. True, fucking true. True. It is true. Yes, science. Science. Bell Nye, the science guy. Trust you to get the fucking Viagra question. There you go, fucking Scheme Team does science. This is a new series. I'll get my white coat coat on, my goggles, and we'll do some fucking... We'll make elephant toothpaste once and never post another video. (laughs) 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 Mentos and coke, that's about it. The Geneva Convention's prohibition of improper use of distinctive emblems during warfare also applies to the Jolly Roger. Yes. Sorry, there was far too many words in there. I couldn't spell it. I fucking wasn't happy for that. Can you simplify it? I need a P also, so... Can you simplify the question, please? You're not allowed to use the Jolly Roger if you're at war, according to the Geneva Convention. No, true. You can't have a Jolly Roger if you're kicking about. Nah, you can't eat. It's like that, it's like... I can't be sitting there, you know, in a trench, getting get fucking shelled on with my buddies, oddied. Since next to me, he's get naked. Couldn't next to me, he's getting a torso. 
Yeah, the Geneva, they are they're not, the Geneva Conventions were made for people who weren't actually in the fucking war, just couldn't sit at a table like. But have the Geneva Convention prohibited the use of the Jolly Roger? No. Yeah, no. So you two think that you can still use a Jolly Roger in warfare? Mm-hmm. No, you can't. You can't. What do you mean use? Like, what do you mean like throw them at the people? Ah, I would need to like just wave it. Well, the British Army go about with a big Union Jack, don't they? And then obviously the you've got your emblems. The Nazis, the Nazis had their um, oh, swatch the car like... and the oh, right. eagle and they stuff. Ru- it's an they emblem. The All right, then true then. So you, all oh, right, I had to think. The swatch was, was a symbol of so peace beforehand. Did it, meant... <laughs> it was Google it. It's oh, in Buddhism. That is true. true. But we're not talking, yeah, exactly. we're not getting into Nazis. We're not getting into Nazis. So did the Geneva Convention ban the use of the Jolly Roger during war? The yes. Nazis were bad, but the pirates were even fucking worse. <laughs> <laughs> Those fucking pirates. <laughs> so that's two people gone for yes, they did ban it. Yeah, gone. Well, no, they didn't ban it. You can use the Jolly Roger all you want. I, I, said, mean, I actually mean no, they they did ban it. They didn't ban it. No, you didn't, because I clarified with no. you. Dog. The music of the band Rush has been featured in more video games than any other band or musician. True, 100%. 100%, 100% yep, true. Fucking everyone, they've got their fingers in all them pies. And all the girls too. Jesus, they do a lot of shit. It's not true. Fuck! Sorry, boys. I just, matching... I just need to match Chris's answers. I'm playing, I've got the ball in the corner, I'm playing for time. <laughs> there is a village in southern Norway actually named Hell. True. true. That is true. Hey, Chris, you need this to tie it? Yeah, you do. Which means, Josh, I'm actually going to get your answer before I get Chris's. <gasps> Just so there is no... Uh, you know. I think I would do that. I don't know, you can be a bit sus sometimes. Only one among us. Only one among us, right. Little sussy barker. And the final fact... There is a highway in Lancaster, California that plays the William Tell Overture, also known as the theme song from The Lone Ranger, whenever cars drive over it at 55 miles per hour. Yeah, that's an American thing. This is so American. That's just like, it's so pointless and stupid and just a waste of everybody's time that it's true. Because that is America. Pointless, useless and a waste of everyone's time. Would you not like to drive along a road? You hit 55 and then it's high ho silver. High ho silver away! I mean, sure, but what would you gain from it? Other than the need to slap that bitch in reverse. I don't know, are we three minutes of enjoyment? Chris, what have you got? What's your answer? Can you stick on Spotify and do it in any fucking highway? <laughs> any speed? What did Josh say? Josh said true. Did he say a voice of false? Said true. Oh wait, I did say true. I said it's such an American thing. It's true. Oh, that's the thing. It's such an American thing. It could be true. Uh, I'm, about, I'm, I'm just gonna say, say go, I'm gonna say false, false just to so go against them. Yeah, split, just, yeah, so it's a split. Fuck it. False. So either Josh wins by two, or we have a tie. <laughs> yeah. God, hurry up. Fucking hell. I'm running out of fingernails here. I know. Let me pack my arse for two minutes, for fuck's sake. Uh. And the end result is... It's true, there is a road in Lancaster that plays the Lone Ranger. Uh, boo. De, 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 de. He's, getting the... Fans. <laughs> He's getting the trophy back out. <laughs> no, hold on. Where's the medals? Medals? Fuck that, I've got a fucking... I want to thank my fans. It's a fucking Berlin Dior. What is this? We have Stuart and Anik, Under 12's Player of the Year, 2008-2009. Also champion at the True and False game. What I'm saying is, I don't lose because yeah, it's I'm, fiction. I'm two for two on the fucking the, the, the scheme team quizzes. You don't have to up your games. 
Oh, yeah. even the week it's me that's doing the questions. I'm the dust on that, that man. Uh, you should not have done that. <laughs> it's been sitting in a box for fucking the last twelve years. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I'm not necessarily sure if it's long enough to put in a wee NordVPN promo, but if it is, I'll put it in. If it isn't, check out NordVPN. We are currently affiliates, so the link is in the description. They are a VPN service. I use them, and I think they are top-notch. Josh has a medal. Tell them about <laughs> Fear <Christ. laughs> Please tell our lovely viewers about Fatal Grips, which I have to have on hand now because I found them. Oh. Josh is frozen. He's not. He's moving. <laughs> Guy. There you go, on. The champion says, and you do what the champion says. The champion Jesus. says you go to fitgrips.com. The champion says you go there and you get yourself some fucking thumb grips for your controller. The champion says you then go to the checkout. The champion says you then put in scheme team all caps into the code bit. And the champion says you will get 10% off your order. And the champion says they don't just do that. No, no, the champion says that they also do a shit ton of other good gear. And the champion says, ain't that Colombian shit you get in the pub? No, 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 no. It's some quality stuff. Champion says it's t-shirts. Champion says it's fucking cases. Champion says it's skins. <laughs> champion says it's a lot of stuff. The you just says, completely <laughs> Champion says scheme team. Champion says ten percent off. All Champion caps says, when you spell the man's name. Champ. Scheme team. If you smell with the champ selling and it's fatalgrips.com, go get it there. <laughs> oh god, that Excellent. fucking acoustic Excellent. there, man. And Chris, tell our lovely viewers about the scheme team merchandise over on Spreadshirt. Ooh, well, on Spreadshirt, if you want to go over there, right? Anything you can think of you to wear, you can fucking buy it. You can get Scheme Team hats, scarves, badges, posters, polos, <laughs> dog collar things, bandanas, capes, bandanas, aprons, you know, just in case, lanyards, I think. Yeah, hats, but in stock. Anything, anything you can think of, you can provide phone cases. I, for any phone, Samsung or Apple. A Nokia, what? Well, in Android. If you think it, we've got it. So go to Scheme Team over on Redbubble and buy our Spreadshirt. Shit. Spreadshirt. I'm sure I said Redbubble mm. at the start. <laughs> no, you said Spreadshirt at the start, but you said Redbubble in the podcast. And I, I, was, I noticed that when I was editing it and I was like, Christopher? <laughs> <laughs> Keep getting them mixed up. Just remember, it... Scheme Team starts with an S, the shop starts with an S, okay? No R's are involved. No bubbles either. Go to Spread it. Bubble. <laughs> Go to Red Shirt. Red Shirt, I mean Spread Bubble, I mean Spread <laughs> Shirt. <laughs> anyway, that's it for us, and on our Scheme Team Saturday, we'll be back on Wednesday with another podcast, and maybe... Just maybe we'll have some gaming videos for you and Scheme Team Plays this week. Our brand new second channel dedicated just to gaming, which you can yeah. find the Gamers. link in the description. Any games you want Gamers us to play, let us know. Podcast Wednesday and <clears throat> Scheme Team Saturdays next week. Goodbye from me and goodbye from the boys. Goodbye, gamers. Gamers, gamers rise up. Gamers. Here we go, two in a row, here we go, two in a row.